Hey guys, so once again I'm using this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab palette and I'm just taking this light transition colour just through my crease on a fluffy brush. Now to brighten up the crease, I'm going over the top of that with this really pretty yellow shade on the same fluffy brush. Now to start shaping the spotlight, I'm taking this dark kind of ready colour on a smaller crease brush and I'm placing that on the inner and outer corners. To really highlight the centre of the eye, I'm going in with this MAC Select Cover Up Concealer on a synthetic brush and I'm just sort of cutting out the centre up to the crease. Now going back in with the yellow shade on a fluffy brush, I'm going to base that colour mainly on the outer and inner corner and slightly through the crease. Now taking this bold like orangey toned red colour on an even smaller crease brush, I'm basing that again on the outer and inner corners trying to really build up the depth. And again just going in with a fluffy brush to diffuse the edges. Now for the centre of the spotlight I'm going in with this really nice shimmery like pearly pink shade and I'm just using a flat shaded brush to place that on. Now just to build the depth back up again, I'm going back in with that same red shade and I'm just placing that on the inner and outer corners. To spoke out the lower lash line, I'm going in with the yellow shade on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going completely across the lash line. I'm not going to do a spotlight on the lower lash line this time. And then to darken up the lash line, I'm going in with that same red shade on a pencil brush and really just keeping it tight to the waterline. Now I'm just adding mascara on the top and bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going for a rosy look, so I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the colour Staunchly Stylish. And for lipstick, I'm using the Inglot Lip Tint in the colour 17, which is one of my favourites, and it smells so good. And that's the final look. I know it's quite simple for me, so if you have any ideas or you want to see something in particular, please comment down below. I'm feeling quite uninspired at the moment, so maybe I'll add some more glitter in my next tutorials, and I'll see you then.